today's video is going to be how I actually prepare all of this to do a YouTube video with you guys for advice and tips and please ignore this I'm about to beautify it but to be honest with you I honestly don't care like this is natural it's me and I'm very confident in my own skin so it's fine if you guys like it and it's fine if you guys don't so also my hair right now this is natural as it comes I've just washed it it's come out from like all this conditioning and shampooing that was happening and I'm trying this new thing where I let it dry naturally so it's drying all wavy and it kind of looks like beach waves which I'm not complaining about but it is how it is and I will fix that later but for now we're gonna the focus on the visage as they say so first things first I like using a Dr. G's I don't know if you can actually see that I'm gonna try to if you can't I'll link everything down in the video but this is a toner it's the uh, Aquasis, I think it is, Moisture Toner 40 Hours Hydration. It is fantastic. I got this um, when I was in Toronto last, which was a year ago. So this is literally coming to the end, which is great because it does say that it's good for 12 months. So right on schedule. It's not like it's too less of a product or too much. Because I hate when you look at a tube and you're like, oh my god, I have so much to use. But there's only this much face to use enough. So all I literally do is take some of this pop it into my hand I kind of cheat slightly and then I just like tap 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 into my face and if you're thinking why I'm not looking into the camera my mirror is actually there so you might see me looking into the camera and then looking into the mirror just to make sure that I'm covering all these places just right so now that toner is on I usually wait a few minutes and then I move on to the next process of moisturizing, which is another um, Korean brand. It's actually by Benton. And this is the Aloe Pro uh, Propolis Soothing Gel. Now, I have really sensitive skin. So I don't know if you guys can see, but I get like lots of redness. And if I was to just do this for like longer than five seconds, I would have like a big massive red patch on my face and it'll just like go away after like a few seconds. So I just use like, like a little bit of this. You can see into the camera. If you can't, I'm so sorry. But it's kind of like a clear little gel. It's really cool. It's really cooling. I don't use a lot. Um, just because it goes a really long way. And then if I need to add more, I will I will top up. And I've exfoliated today, so my skin is feeling really soft and lovely. Okay, so once we let that settle for a few minutes, we're going to move on to the actual makeup part, just in a few seconds. Okay, now, moving on. I honestly watch so many of these uh, beauty videos of how they do makeup and stuff like that, and I swear to God, I learn absolutely nothing. So if I do something wrong, I'm so sorry. <laughs> just with me and maybe you guys could teach me something by writing it in the comment box below and be like no don't put that on and I like to use my hands um, I also like using my brushes and on the off occasion you might see me use my little beauty blender but honestly I don't really use it that much like I have a lot of makeup but I don't really use a lot of makeup but you guys are gonna see anyways okay so first things first I look for any sort of redness in my face when I spoke to you about the redness and I just put a little bit of this NARS creamy concealer this is in the color medium ginger so I'm using a ginger now I am literally gonna be looking into the mirror for this bit just to be able to like pinpoint these areas so I've got a bit of redness that kind of comes I'm just doing like little dots I'm not doing like heavy areas whatsoever so just little areas where pigments have not been my friend and obviously we do a little bit of brightening so I just do a little bit up at the top here like and a little bit up on the top here and honestly that's as much as I do and then maybe a little bit there and a little bit at the top if you guys can see that it looks really funny as I connect the dots but you know anywho that's it <laughs> and then I go in with my hands to actually blend I know so many people are like no why are you doing that use a 
beauty blender, but I just think like your hand just is such a great tool to be able to get into these areas because I'm always scared I'm gonna stab myself in the eye with a with like a spongy brush and then or like with like bristles and then be like no this is not what I want. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing there. So as you can see, it's like blended in quite nicely and these bigger patches, sometimes I just like spread them out just a little bit so they don't look too obvious. And in case I've missed anything, it's a great way to just kind of like press it in these areas. Okay, so now once the redness is sort of uh, semi-concealed, ha, huh, I love how I say redness and I completely forget that my walls are actually bright red in the back. So this is really helping this look not red, huh? <laughs> Anyways, so now what I normally do is, and I'm just looking for it because I've got like all my stuff just laid out over here. I use a stick foundation. So this is the Hourglass foundation. It is in... The Vanish collection, and I'm a golden tan, so I'm quite warm as an undertone. So this is one of the products that I find that just works with my complexion, and also it doesn't make me break out. Like because I have such sensitive skin, when I use different type of liquid foundations, I break out so quickly. So after a day of filming, I come home and do my entire like seven stage beauty regime of taking everything off etc etc now if i wasn't doing filming i actually love this product over here um this i will write it down in the description box again so please don't worry this is a herb i can't even pronounce these ah I'm so sorry <laughs> herborean korean skin therapy it's a cc cream um, it's the high definition radiance face cream skin per uh, perfecter Broad Spectrum SPF 25, and the color is Door over here. It is such a fantastic product. I've bought the travel size rather than buying the full size just because I don't really need a lot. I kind of find this product just goes a long way. Um, sometimes I will put this on underneath my foundation. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do that. And I know some people are like, no, don't again, but hey ho, you don't try, you don't learn. So. I will literally put a little bit on to here. Again, all about using the fingers. What can I say? <laughs> and I just dab it on a little bit in these areas. Always remember to use your SPF. And I just blend it in. And this is great, I find, because it just gets rid of that excess redness. And I get a lot of redness on my face. And I really think this product does a great job at just eliminating that. If I need a little bit more, I literally just take a little bit more on my finger, just like that. And then I just play it on. And there we go, it's all going in nicely. You know, I wonder how you guys feel about watching like someone getting ready and stuff because I don't know about you, but here in London when you're commuting and you're on the train, you just end up sitting randomly on a carriage and you think to yourself, okay, like, let's see how this journey is going to go. And there's always a really, like, nice person that sits opposite and they just take out this bag of makeup. And when they take out this bag of makeup, I'm always thinking to myself, hmm, I wonder if they mind if I watch them putting makeup on. And my eyes are just like magnets because like, God forbid you look at anyone on the train. It's like doomsday here in the UK. You cannot do that, okay? But I look at them and I'm like, oh, that's how you do it. And then they look at you, you have to play like the awkward, like look elsewhere. Oh yeah, that's a really cool ad on top of your head. That's what I was really looking at. Let's face it, I was not looking at that. I was totally looking at a person doing makeup. So if I've ever been guilty of anything, this is definitely one of them. So this is actually Verity. I never take photos or videos without actually doing my eyebrows because I always feel like I don't have enough eyebrows. I mean, I'm quite surprised that in this video you can actually see a little bit here, but normally they don't exist. And I haven't done anything to them yet. So now for this part here. So oh wait, actually, before I continue, do you see how the redness has just like gone down quite a bit? Like and that's just with the urban. So like on a day-to-day -day basis, this is literally what I would put on my face. I would do my eyebrows, my mascara, 
maybe a light lip tint, and I'm good to go. I don't do any more than that, okay? But, like I say, we are continuing. So I'm gonna start filling in my eyebrows. So I actually line them out first and then fill them in. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, this is called the Brow Wiz in dark brown. Like I've heard so many people rave about this and I have been using this for the last six years and I absolutely love it. It's my go-to. I actually get my boyfriend to get it whenever he goes to States. This is at the time when we couldn't get it in the UK as easily, but now they've opened up so I'm a really happy bunny. We can, so I can go get it. And bless him, he doesn't have to. You know, I'm going to try to do it here for you so you guys can see what I do. This is... I hope you guys can see this properly because I am struggling to see this on a tiny screen. And as you can tell, this is my first time doing this sort of video, so I'm so sorry if it's not as entertaining as my other ones. So here's another fun fact for you guys. I actually never pluck or do my eyebrows, so what you're seeing is pretty much whatever is willing to grow in that region. <laughs> Now, I know a lot of people be like, oh, you're so lucky, like, you know, I have to do it on my eyebrows all the time, and I'm like, you say that because, like, you know, but you guys have choice to turn them into a different shape and, you know, make them really nice, and I just kind of feel like I'm stuck with them, so it's my only kind of like, oh, I wish I had better eyebrows. My sister, on the other hand, um, she has the most incredible eyebrows. Her eyebrows are like super thick and beautiful like natural shape to them they're like stunning and she's never done them in her life and the only thing she's done is make the one into a two okay that's all she's done but they are fabulous she definitely got that from my dad's side of the family my mom's side of the family i think we all suffer from the no eyebrow syndrome so <laughs> we all invest in eyebrow makeup and thank god they exist and people have made them slightly better see what i mean i use my fingers for everything i <laughs> i forget that i had like a brush on the side to just kind of like brush out anything there so voila one side eyebrow one side you have to come <laughs> there we go now i'm gonna do the other side so you guys can see And I literally just do this to just get, fill in any of those kind of like white gaps. And I have two really different shaped eyebrows. I don't know if you guys have issues with that too, but I always find like this eyebrow just goes on so nicely. And this one I have to play catch up with this side just to match. Otherwise they kind of just look a little funny. Like this one's far more pointy and this one's like, oh, I'm just gonna curve over. What can you do, huh? No one's perfect, but it's okay. I will make do with what I've been given because I'm very grateful I even have it in the first place. Okay, I'm kind of content with my eyebrows right now. Like, for the purposes of this, this will do because on this camera, it looks quite even. What do you guys think? Do I do an okay job with not actually using a proper mirror? God, my hair is just going crazy right now. I'm so sorry you guys have to see that. <laughs> now it's time. So once I do this, I, again, I am no expert. I'm just showing you what I do to get ready for these videos. I go to use my foundation stick. Oh yeah, guys, I sing about everything. You guys don't know this, but uh, I actually sing with my clients too. And sometimes if they know the song, they join in and sing with me, which is quite fun. I know, I'm a bit of a nutcase. <laughs> so I do a stick. It says you can use low dots, but I literally do a little bit like so, and a little bit like so, bam, bam, because I always feel it's harder to get the nose, and then I do one, two, three, Ooh, just a little bit more there. So I don't actually use a lot. I don't know if you can see that's as much, if I see a bit of redness, oh, let me go back. I am unfocused. Sorry guys, let me just do that and hopefully I should be right back in focus with you guys. 
There we go. So, that's it. I'm not doing any more than that. Okay, so once that's done, uh, again, you can use uh, whatever you want. I find the brush with this works really, really well. So the brush that I use, because you guys, so I realized everyone loves knowing what brushes to use and I never understood the obsession until I actually found this one from another YouTuber that was using it. And I'm so sorry that I don't remember the person's name, but I just remember going, ooh, I really like that brush. And then I went into Morphe. So this is the Morphe M439. It's quite a dense brush, like really quite tough. And then I just like do that and I just blend it in. And it's so soft. And I have used um, one or two liquid foundations just to try it to see that if it would kind of um, work on my skin and if it wouldn't like make me break out. And this brush has been fantastic for that too. So I am really pleased with it. And I wouldn't change it actually. I think if this brush ever like retires, I would probably just go straight back into the store and be like, guys, I need a replacement because uh, this one has definitely hit its peak. So I just do the same here. I know some people like doing like round circles, but sometimes I find like around circles, especially if you're having a dry skin day, can just like resurface and cause like texture on your skin, which I don't like. So I just literally, I just keep patting it, keep patting. And also, I know some people put it onto like their eyes and they do like over here, but I don't because if I don't do this, my eyelids actually look a little tanned, which gives the illusion that I'm wearing um, eyeshadow when I'm actually not. So I know that sounds crazy, but I, I really just, this is just how I roll. This is it. I'm not gonna apologize for my makeup routine. This is just what I'm comfortable with. So. There we go. Voila, the redness is gone. And now I look semi okay with this. Oh, guys, this is just like the more it dries, the crazier I feel it's looking, but it's okay. Now, the lighting in this room is average. Most people use those like beautiful like round halos to get that really bright face and I have one of those at work I just don't bring it home with me and because I'm doing this video from home We are getting as raw as it can for footage. Okay. How am I doing for time? <gasps> I didn't realize I took that much time. I'm so sorry Okay, so now I would move on to just highlighting underneath here ever so slightly they're gonna use my fingers to just blend. Now this is the Morphe O oh Brow Baby. And this came with the Java makeup um, kit. So they do like an all brow sort of version and that's what I use for that and I absolutely love it. I don't put a lot on, just enough to just like get the catch those areas. And sometimes I'll pop a little bit just on the inside here, just to highlight it to make it a little bit more brighter and not look like I'm half asleep. Once that's done, I actually love this mascara. It doesn't cost much at all. It's from Kiko. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm so sorry if you can't. But this is the Kiko Luxurious Lashes Extra Volume Brush Mascara. So the brush looks like that. If you can see that one there. So you can see it's got like tiny little bristles on it. And we go from no eyelashes to, here we go. Watch the magic happen. And yeah, I'm actually not looking at the mirror. I've got into the habit of being able to mascara on without looking. And then when I do finally look, it's basically for my lower lashes because otherwise I think I would just look like a great big fat panda. Voila! The eyelashes are here. So eyelash, no eyelash. And I didn't even have to like dunk it back in to get extra mascara, so it was great. And I, cause I have like super sensitive skin. Um, sometimes I find like mascara, at the end of the day when it goes into my eye, it just 
dang so badly now especially because all day long I have to wear like a mask and visor and you know and I'm staring at things my eyes get tired really quickly at the end of the day because you know I'm just like focusing like this on looking at different mythologies on the feet so then what happens is at the end of the day I tend to like rub my eyes slightly and if there's any moisture or rubbing and that mascara goes in any other mascara apart from this this one's been amazing um I tear up on the underground so badly when I'm commuting to the point that I've had people stop me and be like honey whoever it is he's not worth your tears and I'm like I'm not crying over a man I'm crying over my mascara it's a thing <laughs> but no one believes me they're just like no no it's fine if you don't want to talk to us about it like you don't have to and I'm like guys I'm not lying I'm telling you the truth but hey by then they usually get off and I get off and I'm like well that was embarrassing so Hopefully, you know, I can find more because I think it's always nice to test out. But maybe, you know, it's good to stay true with the ones that you know that work for you. So this is where I'm going to go slightly closer in because I just need to be able to do the lower lashes. So as you can see, I don't actually use a lot. It's just a little bit to highlight it. There we go. Now, once that is done... I might move on. Now again, this is just for the purposes of YouTube. I don't actually use a lot of this at all. And I use the buffing brush. So this product is the Huda Beauty and I'm using the medium Tantor. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me get out of the way so maybe you could focus on you. Whoop. No, nope, it's not going to focus, so I'll just read it. It's a medium tantor contour and bronzer cream. It is great. I love this. Again, I just tap. Like, that's it. And I would put it here just to highlight a little. Ooh, that was a lot. This is what happens when you don't use a mirror when you just use a camera. Like, uh, I wouldn't only use that much, but hey, we're going to go with it. Let's just get the... Let's rub this in. Again, I like doing it upwards motion rather than doing circles. It's really hard to talk when you're trying to concentrate on this. Major respect to all the beauty YouTubers out there that make this look so easy because I don't know how I'm doing, guys. Like, can you see the difference? Duck face. <laughs> okay. And sometimes I just drag it down. Here. Then what I do, because I don't use another brush, I literally put like the smallest amount going here. There we go. So, voila, we have uh, a little bit of contouring to the face, so you can see it's it's starting to come together a little bit. It's it's a very natural kind of sun-kissed look rather than it being like, you know, oh my god, she's got so much contour on her face because I don't think I would be comfortable with that. Like, I really like natural things and a natural look. So this one is e.l.f. It is a blush palette. It, I think it's in dark, but there's some really nice colors like these. And for today, I will be using this little peachy one. So I literally go dab dab because it's highly pigmented. Don't really need a lot. And I just kind of like add a bit of color to my cheeks. So I look a little bit alive. And this I do in like little circles because I think it, it does help. And then I kind of drag it up to the top. Too. And then sometimes I'll even put like a little bit near the top of my eyes. I told you. Makeup and me, we just kind of wing it together. Okay, so once that is done, 
now it's just like the final touches honestly guys it's the final touches so now you can see the face is kind of doing like this i like to have a bit of a dewy kind of finish obviously the mask these days don't allow that to happen so i'm using the becca shimmery skin perfecter liquid it looks like this you can see by the gaps that i do use it quite a bit um, and this is in prosecco pop now i found this really hard to get a hold of when it did it comes in a little pump action like this i don't need a lot so um i use like a little dab if you guys can see that but like a little dab at a time oh there we go just a little tap and then i just do like dab 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 little dab little dab and if there's an extra bit, I just literally put like a small spout right there. Bit at the tip. And then again, all about the fingers. Blend, 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 blend. Do you guys have like a song that you guys sing when you're doing makeup? Or is it all like very serious concentration? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I'm that serious of a person. Anyone knows me. On a personal level, will vouch for the fact that 90% of the time, um, I think the word they would go for is crazy because I'm just a little like, if I could be a cartoon, I would be like the happiest person ever because I do live like my life is a ca cartoon sometimes. You're probably thinking, how does that even make sense? Like, life is too short to be too serious. Like, have a laugh, then have some fun. I'm serious for work anyway, so let's have some fun outside of work. So now that is done, last but not least, if I am going to use a bit of colour on my lips, then sometimes I would use like, this is the Hada Beauty Lip Contour in the colour Icon. Now I have a really high Cupid's arrow, so I literally just try to get a little definition there and down there sometimes I just like coloring the top bit so it doesn't look like a like hey look this line on her lip and then there's nothing else after it so I color it in slightly I'm cheating I really should have used the lip the lip balm first which is naughty of me because I normally do but it's okay then this one here is actually one of my favorite lip tints. It's also a Korean product. As you can tell, I, I love Korean products. I've got like a gazillion face masks right behind this camera. Like I can't even tell you. Maybe I'll show you guys at the end. Um, so this is the Dear Darling Tint. It is in the color... Actually, I'm so sorry. I don't know what the color is. But if you guys uh, look at Etude House... And you look at this range, it has the green and then it has the pinky. And it's one of my favorite, most natural versions possible. So it comes in a little kind of brush like this, which is quite cute. And I just dab. There we go, so that one's there. And last but not least, I'm currently trying out the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. I have been using the Urban Decay one for quite some time, but this is something that I thought was really cute, travel size. I was in a rush at the airport and I was like, you know what, let me just grab this and go because I knew I forgot it. And I do the same thing, I just spray, spray it and then I'm good to go. And this is actually really, really nice. I'm not going to put it on right now just because I'm not going to be keeping this on for too long. I just wanted to show you guys. And plus the videos I'm going to be doing after this are going to be a little bit more fun. So I'm just going to turn the, the camera slightly so you can see it's very subtle, very light, quite natural in terms of the finish. This is me up and close with the window to get some natural light so you can see how the makeup looks. As you can see, it is very natural. Uh, you can't really tell that I've got much on, just highlighting some features. The lip tint is really quite natural too. Um, even though I've put contour and shimmer on, it's just very, very like 
light and now that my hair is drying a little bit better as you can see it doesn't look as deranged but it is extremely long so thank you guys so much um for watching if you guys have any tips on any kind of other products to help with redness or mascaras that don't irritate the eyes i'm all for it so please do comment that before i'll be super 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 helpful if you haven't already check out my other videos on like treatments advice tips um if you're new to the channel then yes i am a podiatrist and i do a lot of foot treatments that you can see like callus corns verrucas and i do lots of educational videos too and thank you for watching and i will see you guys soon